Hello, in this video we are going to continue with drawing a triangle. Still on the setup stage, so we've just, you know, basing this code off, or I mean we're going to continue with the code from the base code tutorial, so make sure you followed that. And what we're going to be doing now is setting up the Vulkan instance, because at the moment we really don't have anything to do with Vulkan. We've got this initialize method, but it's empty. That's basically what we're going to be doing today. And okie dokie. So first of all, not here, inside of here, we want to create a instance of VK instance. And I want to call it underscore instance, semicolon. Okay, so that's our, you know, Vulcan object. And now we are going to go to the initialize method. So in init Vulcan, we're going to say create instance this will throw us an error because this does not currently exist don't worry we will be you know doing that very soon while we're here let's actually clean up the vulcan instance so to do this simply just put vk vk destroy instance right there and specify underscore instance and you can specify some callbacks if you want to i'm going to put no point again if you know what you're doing there and you want to specify a callback feel free to do that okay so now that we've done that what really remains is for us to implement that you know create instance method but we'll do that right here we're going to say void create instance and this is where the magic is going to happen this is where we are going to be creating our vulcan still not creating it you know setting up the vulcan object so first of all we're going to use vk application info call it to do app info like so and then we're going to say app info dot s type equals vk underscore make sure this is all uppercase underscore structure underscore type underscore application info okay then when you say app so you know all these other ones they're just optional sort of you know properties that you can set you know they're pretty good to set so the first one we're going to set is the application name so p application name this can be whatever you want but again it's always good to have something call it hello triangle and then app info dot application version equals vk underscore make version and i'm gonna say one comma zero comma zero so this is basically specifying the version so the application version so we're saying it's like version 1.0.0 and then we're going to say app info dot p engine name so if we have like an engine name for example we could call it because i'm creating a game engine and currently it's called project xyz it's also got a name called saucy game engine we could call it uh, saucy uh, game engine for example say whatever you want really here and then we could set the engine version as well similar here you just put vk underscore make version one comma zero comma zero so it's saying this define is deprecated vk api version should be used instead let's use that then So requires a variant. So uh, I'll, I'll stick with this because this is, in all fairness, already in the source code that's on GitHub. So n not to you know create any changes there or you know any conflicts. But you know feel free to change that. So again, engine version. But that's basically 1.0.0. That's essentially what it is. And now let's put the API version. So app info dot API version equals vk underscore api underscore version and we're going to say one zero so vulcan 1.0 and nope it is not a method 
Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We are not done yet, but we're slowly getting there. So we're gonna create a Vulkan instance to create the you know application info. So to do that, we do vk instance create info. I'm gonna say create info like so, and we're gonna say create info dot s type equals vk underscore structure underscore type underscore instance underscore create underscore info and we've got create info dot p application info equals ampersand app info semicolon okay so now that we've done that let's actually you know check for the extension see how many extensions we've got and so we're going to say you and so so you into 32 which is a unsigned int which i always prefer to do it like this if in the source if in the source code is you have i have something like you int, that's fine so, so i prefer to do this grsw extension count so we can say equals zero by default say const char uh, g gfw extensions so we'll see what extensions are supported gfw extensions equals gfw get required instance extension and you just pass in a reference to the gfw extension count integer that we created right here okay so now that we've got that what we want to do now is actually just get the count so do create info dot enabled extension count equals gofw extension count actually we're just signing it sorry create info dot pp enabled extension name equals gofw extension which we've already loaded and we're going to say create info dot enabled layer count equals zero semicolon and i'm going to say if so we're going to we're going to now attempt to create the vulcan instance so to do that we need to put vk create instance we can just do this in line in a if statement because if it's successful great this you know won't get called if it isn't successful we'll throw an error so you need to first specify that create info object just a reference to it and then you need to don't have to specify a p allocator uh, the allocation callbacks again because we're not doing any callbacks we can just put a null pointer and then we'll say a reference to the vulcan instance and we're going to say if this can isn't equal to vk underscore success then we're going to throw an error and the error we're going to throw is throw std colon colon run time error fail to create Vulcan instance and we should be ready to go so if we give this a run see what happens no errors, all good, no crashes, fantastic. So you can end the video now if you're happy with that. What we can do as an optional thing is actually just print out the extension so we can see what extensions have been loaded. So to do that, so again, this is option, optional, not really required, but again, it's just nice to see. And you can just comment it out or even have some sort of hash define or, you know, parameter that specifies if you want this printed or not or put this in its own method as an extra task i recommend you do that so std colon colon vector and yes we will need the vector class so hash vector and this is gonna be a vector of v a x extension properties and we're going to call this extensions gfw extensions count okay 
So next we're gonna say VK enumerate enumerate instance extension properties. First of all, we're just gonna put a null pointer. Then we're gonna specify the GR of the view extension count and I have messed it up. Extension. I just spelt incorrectly and and then we're gonna say extensions dot data so we're gonna pass in the data as well semicolon and now what we're gonna do is just do a, a C out that says available extension see if I can spell it correctly and and now and we'll just loop over all the extensions we use we are one of the for each kind of loops const auto ampersand extension extensions spelling it correctly this time i'm going to put std colon colon c out and what we're going to say is we'll put the tab character And so this is, this is just for formatting purposes, that's all. Extension dot extension. Keep putting an S there for some reason. Put a T there when they shouldn't, shouldn't have been, and should be good to go. Let's give it a run. Hopefully, no error, doesn't look like it. And there we go. So, these are the valuable extensions VK underscore KHR underscore device underscore group underscore creation and VK underscore KHR underscore display. So, that's it for setting up the Vulkan instance. We'll obviously have plenty more tutorials covering the rest of the process of you know creating triangle setting up Vulkan and all of this good stuff can seem a bit convoluted Vulkan generally does take a bit longer to get things set up you have to be more explicit with things it assumes less on you know the side of code and you have to be more explicit but it is a lot more efficient it is a newer way of doing things and it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon so that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. Over 4,500 members now. There's a link in the description. There's also a Vulcan channel there where you can post all your questions and there'll be re other resources there. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And just notice there's that as well. Don't like that. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.